Hello everyone, it's Susan from Susan Hiles Art, and today we're going to work on the patterned papers for my 2023 December Daily. We are going to organize them. I have about, I would say, seven, eight inches high of loose papers, um, paper pads, I'm kind of thinking in my head, I know I have some things like uh, possibly this Bow Bunny collection that I might have other size papers as well. So I'm kind of thinking, do I put those together or do I just put, you know, organize everything by size, right? Like, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do, but the first thing I know I have to do is I have to separate everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video and we're gonna start sorting this huge pile of patterned paper. So this is 10 plus years worth of Christmas patterned paper. I ended up having a lot of chipboard and sticker sheets in this pile. So some of them I took out um, of the pile and others I left. So if they belonged to a certain um, collection that I had paper to go with it, I kept it with the paper. Like these four right here are gorgeous chipboard stickers that I really need to get using. <laughs> so I'm going to make sure that I, you know, keep those out for this year and get using them.
So now what I'm doing is um, I'm taking the papers that I've sorted once already and I'm going to sort them again. So, but this time I'm pulling out papers that have already been cut and I'm gonna put those with my scrap papers. Um, and I'm trying to put, um, I wanna say collections together or at least, you know, if I have simple stories papers, I'm gonna try to put all of the simple stories together even though you know they may not be the same collection those right there are cartabella those are gorgeous papers but um and then what i end up doing is i end up taking the die cuts that i have for this year right here i'm gonna just grab a few of them and i'm trying to find reds that will go good with the red in the flowers of the die cuts um you know i i just they don't need to match perfectly but i did want the die cuts to go well with the papers that i end up selecting for this year The papers that you see me put on that pile right there to my left are papers I'm not using this year. But the papers that I'm moving um, also to my left, but further away, not in that pile, those I'm going to be keeping out to use in my December daily for this year. And I'll show you in a minute. So this stack of loose 12 by 12s, I am not using. So I'm just gonna put those to the side and then I'm going to go through the rest of the piles that I've already sorted. Uh, just really looking at color. I'm focusing on the color of the paper. The papers that you see me move to my left, those are going in the good pile that I'm going to use for this year.
So to wrap this up, I want to share with you the papers that I've kept out to use for my 2023 December daily. I decided to keep out the busy sidewalks. Um, I loved this collection a couple years ago when I used it and so I want to use it again and I have stickers that go with that as well. I did keep out this paper pad of Simple Stories Handmade Holiday and I just really liked the colors of the papers. I thought uh, they would go well with my plans for this year. And I also have Simple Stories um, cardboard frames. So I have that with that. Then I really liked this Recollections collection and I bought it somewhere for $4. <laughs> Some sort of a scrappy sale somewhere, um, a yard sale, I don't know. But I really liked these as well. A little, Some of them are a little dark, but some of them are just perfect. So I have this collection out as well. And then I have all of the vellum. So I have lots of vellum. And... Um, I want to try to use it. I try to use some every year because I love it, but can, it can be hard for me to use. Um, then I have a couple sheets of Simple Stories. This is the Country Christmas Collection. And obviously these are the cards. And then there's the other side, which is just really perfect for what I need for this year. Then I have things like Fancy Pants. Um, yep, Fancy Pants, Fancy Pants. I like these. I thought these were also good colors for what I'm looking for for this year. I have some black because black is always good. I have some cheaper papers that are individual sheets that I got from somebody that used to scrapbook like many, 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 many years ago. And I just thought that the colors were good. I have a lot of red, a lot of different reds. Uh, but I like these, so I kept them out. I also have, oh, this goes with Busy Sidewalks. Sorry, this is actually part of the Busy Sidewalks collection by crepe paper then I have bow bunny joyful Christmas so I have some stickers and uh, what is this uh, I don't think it's a it's not an 8 by 10 5 by 7 paper pad maybe so I have those I like those and then I kept these out so these are just and I, I want to say these are are they um, Kane Company, I think, from many, many, many years ago. But I've used so many of them. But just like with ribbon, you know, I like to use ribbons. And I like these for borders as well. So I kept these out because I figured I would use them. And they're in a Creative Memories plastic case where I have just more scraps that were in there. So I'll just leave them in there. And I'll try to use up some of these borders. All right, so that's it. So the papers that I'm not using, I'm going to put it back in the drawer, put that away, get it out of my room. <laughs> but I have a lot to choose from, right? I mean, this is all good stuff. And they're different collections. And, you know... Uh, it's fine with me. I'll see, you know, which I prefer to use and I'll use it. And I'm just going to put in a little quick video here showing you what's on my bed of all the different things that I am going to keep out for this year. Um, yeah, so let me go do that and I'll put it here and then that's going to be the end of the video. So let me know what you think of the papers that I have kept out to use. Thanks so much for being here. God bless. All right, so this is what I have on my desk 
so far it's actually a folding table but this is where I'm going to be doing all of my work for my December daily and then this is a look at everything organized it may not look organized but it really is right so I have my envelopes I have uh, jelly printed envelopes my ribbon my fabric assorted things I have a little bit of paint my um, stamps tissue paper twine uh, more sorted stuff back there my greeting cards my tags some stickers doilies more stickers assorted papers and other things assorted. These are uh, like four by six and uh, three by four cards, uh, stencils, and napkins. Sorry, my I don't have a bedspread on here, so forgive me for that, but I didn't want to take everything off to put a bedspread on. <laughs> but so this is my finished organization. All right. Take care, everybody.